Okay, peeps, welcome back. <clears throat> so today we're going to be going over the AMC GME meme stock short squeeze craze that just began over the last couple of days and how this is a really super rare opportunity that you guys could get in on if you wanted to. With that being said, let's get it. Okay, <clears throat> so let's first start with what exactly is going on here. So there is this guy. Well, I'm assuming it's just one person on Twitter who goes by the name of Roaring Kitty. Okay. So this dude is really popular. He was, um, I suppose, presumably a part of the previous meme stock bull run, which included, I believe, GME, um, AMC, and they had some other ones. I don't know what the other, other names of the other stocks were, but those were the main two. Um, so this guy is really well known on Twitter. Okay, he has 1.1 million followers, um, and pretty much every single post he get or he posts, uh, every single tweet or X that he posts here gets millions upon millions of views, many different reposts. So what's kind of going on here? So I'm going to get into that in a minute, but first thing I want to point out here to kind of get the ball rolling, um, if I can find it. So you see a bunch of tweets here, um, but what I want to point you to is this here. Okay. So this post was back in June, 2021. Okay. This was three years ago and then there was no post. All right. And then you have this post all of a sudden, just a couple of days ago. So there was no post on the sex account in almost literally three years. And then there's a post and it gets 25 million views. <clears throat> 32 reposts, 129,000 likes, 11,000 comments. So basically, um, way back in the day, there was like Reddit communities and stuff like that that were talking about pumping the prices of heavily shorted stocks that were basically uh, meme stocks, which is exactly what it sounds like, which means that there were essentially companies that uh, institutions thought we're going to zero. They had no value, stuff like that. So of course, you know, GameStop is a very popular one. That makes sense. There's a lot of gamers out there and there's a lot of movie lovers that go out there and watch movies. So, you know, um, pretty much this is how it started. Okay. As of this week, I'll get into this a little bit deeper as we go through this, but this is what started the new upcoming meme craze that in my opinion is just getting started. You can see a ton of posts here. Um, so there was actually a, I, I don't have it pulled up right now, but there was, um, presumably like some $5 billion in unrealized <laughs> short seller losses or something like that. Cause they were getting squeezed. So, um, another thing I want to point out here is that this same dude or the same Twitter account actually had to go before Congress back in 2021 and testify along with like, I think, I believe it was the CEO of Robin hood and some other people or something like that as to why all these well i'm not going to go into the details because i don't want to misrepresent anything here but i'll leave this link in the description for you guys below the short of it is uh, it was pretty much in essence retail traders against institutions and retail traders were squeezing short sellers and institutions and institutions were losing a lot of money presumably okay but you guys can look into all this detail if you want to, the point that I'm going to make about this is we have not seen a resurgence of the meme stock craze in three years, and I'm going to get into why this matters. So as you guys can see here, it's not just Twitter that's blown up with this thing. Every single influencer, well, maybe not every single one, but a lot of major influencers that you can imagine in both traditional stocks and crypto are talking about this. Okay. This is a big deal. You guys can see like this guy right here, 619,000 subscribers talking about AMC, 20,000 subscribers, uh, 43,000 subscribers. I can keep going on and on and on about this. A lot of crypto influencers are also talking about this. <clears throat> so 79,000, I'm assuming that has something to do with AMC because you guys can see AMC up here. Um, and keep going down. You got stocks in crypto here. So 14,000. Uh, 541,000, although the AMC is not in the title there, but it goes on and on and on and on. You guys can look this up for yourself on YouTube. Just type in AMC stock, GME stock. Um, if you want to go down the rabbit hole, but do understand that there is an opportunity here. So I'm going to go over this with you guys in the charts. All right. So 
as you guys can see, this is no joke. There was a record massive 1.5 or 1.15 billion with a B shares traded of AMC today. Okay. And you can see on the volume indicator here clearly that there is obviously a massive resurgence of demand for these shares. So 394 million on GME, as you can see, the volume indicator just keeps going up as the weeks progress, but AMC is much more noticeable. So it was basically flatline and then boom, massive rocket ship in volume. So what does this matter? Well, look, <clears throat> we're looking to make bank. So if there's an opportunity to make bank, we're going to make it. So the last time that this thing had something like this happen, you can see this volume candle here back in January, 2021. Uh, this thing starting out was at about $10 and it topped out at about $400. Now, am I saying that it's going to go that high? No, I am not. Um, it, it's impossible to predict exactly how high this is going to be. For those of you guys that know what the meme stock craze is, I don't need to explain this to you. But for those of you guys that don't, uh, basically, it's a bunch of retail traders that kind of all FOMO into retail stocks. And then eventually the stock just rips to the moon after so much demand and shorts get squeezed. And then the price goes parabolic. And everybody theoretically makes bank, not financial advice. Okay. So this thing, when it started squeezing, it went from $11 to $111. And you see this massive green candle here, uh, 379 million shares traded. Of course, we had even more than that recently. And there's share dilution and other things to factor in here. But I don't think that really matters when it comes to demand. Share dilution or not, or not if this thing is going to squeeze and there's also demand as well, their short squeeze combined with demand, I mean, the thing is going to skyrocket. Um, I can't promise that, but in theory, that's how it works. So we went from this price to this price, did a 10x. We had this massive pullback, which obviously was a huge pullback. I mean, if we're just looking at this thing here, um, I mean, it was huge. It's it 70, 70, 80% move. I'm not going to lie. This is a, a bit risky. So it went from, again, $30 up to, as you guys can see, another 3x, $78, kind of pulled back. And then we had this second large epic squeeze here from $43 to almost $400. So that's nearly a 10x move. <clears throat> so you guys know that we're pretty, pretty well known here for the break of the downward trend line for a bullish breakout. So we kind of do see something like that here. If I were to redraw this, um, maybe put it something like this. That's probably about as perfect as I'm going to be able to get it here. You guys can see very clearly that this thing is breaking out of the downtrend line. Okay. But more importantly, we've had a, a MACD death cross or MACD golden cross here on the weekly time frame that has had the golden cross since November 2023 and has been moving up while the price has been moving down. That, as you guys know, is bullish divergence, which means eventually this thing's going to pop. Okay. And I also want to point out that the RSI was massively oversold for months and months and months on end. Uh, when we saw this on ALT, it did eventually have a massive squeeze to the upside. It squeezed, I think, from the low to the high, roughly about a 7x. So it went from the uh, swing low of $2 to, I think, a swing high of like 13, 14 bucks, something like that. Um, AMC and GME is obviously way more well known than something like ALT, but it's just the idea that this thing can absolutely shred to the upside. I mean, it could get stupid, the price action on this thing. So um, I was actually only able to catch this today. I was a, a day late on the move because I did not actually find out about this until today. So um if I got this yesterday before the market closed, would have got the shares at six bucks, but unfortunately got the shares at like $10. So kind of averaged down and prices now below $10. But the reason I point this out is because if we're at the start of one of these down here and it's going to go somewhere up here, uh, we're pretty much at the start of that move. So this thing has not even really begun to take off yet. In my opinion, as you guys can see, just look at these candles. So, it kind of was down, down, down. These are mostly mostly just flat candles. Um, you could say that right here was kind of anything below this price was basically accumulation. And then all of a sudden we have this massive green candle breakout. So what we're really looking for here is a green candle close above this red EMA. If we get one of those, it's game on. As you guys can see, 
um, pretty much every time we've tested this red EMA over the last however many months, uh, it's been rejection after rejection. Saw the same thing on ALT. Eventually, it did squeeze to the upside. Um, <clears throat> as you guys can see, once <laughs> once this thing did get above the red EMAs here, the squeeze was absolutely legendary. It went up stupid amounts of money. So I just want to put this on your guys' radar. If it's something you're interested in doing, if it's something you're not interested in doing, that's totally cool. I would understand. Um, typically, we would not even take a trade like this, except this has not happened in three years. So it's like a blue moon. It's literally almost non-existent. But I do think that AMC and GME is just getting started. So I'll go over GME real quick. As you guys can see, um, very similar. So... G, I'm, I mean, you almost can't even see this thing. Look, all the way down here, <laughs> GME was at like a dollar, okay? It was literally at a dollar. And then eventually we got a break above the EMAs. This thing kind of chopped around and then it really took off to the upside. This thing went from a dollar to a do $121 at the peak. That's a 120x move on a traditional stock. Okay, not 120%. That's 120x. So once again, you can see the, it's it got above the EMAs here, okay? Got above the EMAs last week. We got a break of the trend line, and we have this massive green candle just like AMC. So in my opinion, AMC or GME is actually front-running AMC. I think AMC is still going to have the majority of its big pump like you can see here on GME yet to come, perhaps in the coming days, weeks. Uh, it's hard to say exactly, but... Um, look, I'm I'm in this move. Uh, whether it goes up, goes down, not concerned about it. Um, put twenty five hundred dollars in the move, and again, you know, if we end up losing the money, well, okay, whatever. You know, we've made twenty thirty grand on uh, crypto in the last six months. Not too worried about it. It's money that we can afford to lose. But as you guys can see, um, if I go over here to the weekly time frame, uh, it pretty much did nothing for a long time. Go over here to the year to date time frame did pretty much absolutely nothing for a long time kind of range between four dollars to two and a half dollars and then all of a sudden boom okay and in my opinion again this is not financial advice but i do think this is the start of the move so as you guys can see it kind of was up here there was crazy amounts of um what the heck are they called um trading halts uh, so there was a ton of trading halts on both AMC and GME because, again, the price was so volatile that I think it's like once a percentage, a certain percentage move happens on an index or a stock or something like that, they have to force a trading halt because that's just the way it goes. Otherwise, it's, you know, if, if they didn't do that back during the pandemic, I'll just put it to you guys like this. The S&P probably would have dropped more than 35 percent. So there is a reason why they have it. So, again, um, kind of went from like $8 to $12 and then all the way down to six. So uh, it's $7.50. And then of course you guys can see it's moving back up again. It did once again move above the swing high up here into the um, post-market trading hour. So it is going up. So kind of my thought process on this is I may go ahead and close out the CLSK put, put the other $1,500 into this. And again, um, just to open up another uh, put later on on CLSK in the future that would put a total of roughly about 4k into this, this position and kind of what we're looking for roughly is somewhere between maybe like a I don't know hypothetically maybe like a 5 to 10x I don't think that's unrealistic if I'm being completely honest again um I mean the thing did a 40x GME did 120x and as in terms of the pullbacks, um, and again, this is going to be super risky. Okay. This is not just understand this is, I'm not going to dare say gambling, but, um, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, it could definitely be considered gambling. Even if you do know what you're doing, it could be risky, but do understand after these pumps, there could be crazy pullbacks. So you got 74% pullback after a massive 900% gain, which is again, absolutely bonkers. And just show you guys just a few more. So 189% pump. And then of course you have a another massive 40% drop. 
And then it gets even crazier as it gets towards the end. So no, I don't know exactly how much this is. This is like a lot, maybe 600% or something, but 521% to the upside. And then you guys can see, of course, the pullbacks are absolutely heinous. So is this a long-term investment? No, I'm pretty much just looking to play this for the move, for the squeeze and the, uh, of course, the retail FOMO. Whether it does a 5, 10x or not, um, don't know. Uh, we will cash out at some point. It's hard to say exactly when, but that's kind of what we're looking for. And again, um, if you choose to get in, into this, understand that it's risky. Understand that it could go back down to $3, okay? The reason we're getting in now is because, again, the risk is relatively low at this point. Um, you know, our cost basis is $9, whereas the bottom here is $250. Now, if it was, say, at $50 or $100 and the bottom was $250, um, I would be a little bit more hesitant to get into this because the risk is much higher. But as of right now, in my opinion, you know, it could drop 66%, sure, but it would be much more risky if the price was 10x the price currently. And if it was 10x the price currently at $69, um, there would be less of a chance to make it 10x is what I'm saying. So basically what I'm saying here is the risk reward on this thing is really, really good in my opinion, not financial advice. You guys do what you want to with your own money. You don't even have to touch this thing if you don't want to. And I would understand if you didn't want to. Um, I'm willing to take the risk. Uh, we think that we can make bank on this, but we'll just have to wait and see. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this content about AMC and GME and the meme stock craze that could potentially be coming around the corner again. And of course, CPI could also, if it comes out good tomorrow, could boost the share prices even more. So hope you all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all later. Peace.